Hi guys, um, I just spoke with Superminer. He said his house was griefed, so I went over to look. And <laughs> I must admit, it sure as hell looks like it. But let's see, this piece right here used to be a wall block. So I place a new and check for damages. Placed by Superminer, placed by me. There are no other players except him and me here. So that is very strange. But uh, he, he left at once, he had something to do, so I thought I'd check it out and uh, I clicked around. And I found something. Just before leaving, I went down this way and flew over here. Then I noticed this bridge, entire bridge was gone. And let's take a look at this. What the hell is this kind of a design? And over here. This is strange. And well, there's even meat here, zombie meat. Oh, never mind that. But look at the, the dirt. Where's the dirt? The dirt is gone. <laughs> Except a few blocks hanging around in the air. Over here, dirt is gone. There was dirt over here. Cable is missing. Hmm. In this radius, look right in front of the house. All of this cheesy blocks. <laughs> I think I know what has happened here. Uh, somebody has run a type 2 or higher reactor and left it running. That would explain a lot of these weird things. But I don't understand understands the damage pattern. There's even a generator here. Ah. What the hell? <coughs> okay. So, apparently there has been some sort of nuclear explosion here. I will now uh, test it. And uh, I'm going to fly to a safe distance so we can see the damage such an explosion does. Okay, <clears throat> I've found a small isolated island with animals. And now we're going to test a nuclear explosion to see the damage. So, in fact, we're going to make two explosions. We want a explosion within a concealed where it's protected and a non-protected explosion. Let's just find the things we need. We need some reinforced stone. We need a reactor. Mm, that's it. And then we need a lot of uranium. We can get that eventually. Okay, that's that. One reactor. Look in the reactor. Make room for some uranium. Where is the uranium? Re enriched? No, 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 no. There we go. And I'm not sure how long it's going to be before it's going to blow, so I'm just going to back the hell up. And we are going to wait here. Time day. Still waiting. Nothing has happened. It's easy to see when when shit hits the fan, because most likely my computer will stall, you can see, <laughs> wood burning. There we go. We had a nuke explosion. Okay, so the damage is extreme when it's not protected. <clears throat> Look at this hole. It's probably... 25, 50 blocks wide, no. 
35, 40 blocks wide and the same width. That's pretty mean. <coughs> uh, we're now going to test a concealed explosion. How uh, normally you would place a reactor. You have a bottom. Let's make it 5 because we want water around it to cool it. And usually there is water in here, but since we want to have a full meltdown, we won't be adding water. Okay, and we can still reach it. Perfect. Let's fill it up. Fuel, fuel. Where's the urine? There. And let's just wait and see what happens. Don't need that anymore. <clears throat> Sipping my coffee while we wait for a nuclear explosion. I can't remember how many uh, uranium rods I put in the first explosion, but there we go, look at that. It's burning through and the explosion. Okay. Damage. Uh, it made some sort of weird cut in trees, as you can see, but it's very narrow. This, that tree is fine, that tree is fine, but uh, it took out a few trees. This direction took the most damage. Uh, there was a cave below apparently. But as you can see, it gave after over here because probably most likely the underground was shit. So make sure you place your nuke on a sound foundation. But the damage compared to this one, it's very small. Look at this. It's just the top blocks, basically. It's easy to repair. This over here, on the other hand, not so easy to repair. So, when you build a nuclear reactor, conceal it, or encase it in protective stone. If you, I know myself, when I build reactors, I rarely do, but when I do, I use two rows of protection. Where are the blocks? All right. So I have my walls are two blocks thick, and so is the bottom, like that, and the top. And some people think the corners are not important, but if you have no uh, structure here, or if you're using some sort of ordinary stone, these two blocks will just collapse. That's a very poor or weak design. You need armored blocks here as well, or this type. <coughs> you could also use the glass, the armored reinforced glass as well. Uh, so basically you don't need to move your reactor far far away. You could just have it at, well, let's see, this distance here. Viewable distance over there, it's fine, and even if you have it inside a house, 
you design some sort of uh, nuclear power plant and you have the small reactor down in the basement somewhere, it's fine. No worries. People can live right outside. And if it blows, it's only the house and the reactor that goes. No sweat. However, <laughs> unprotected. Wow. We got radioactive chicken, radioactive cow, and a sad lonely wolf. So my guess is after viewing this that the uh, super miner has have had a um, small nuclear re explosion and that is uh, what we have seen at near spawn. So make well I might make a new rule if you don't uh, contain your reactor it will be removed it's quite simple contain your reactor or don't run a nuclear reactor uh, thanks for watching see you guys later